the brief update on fitting many, many baseball cards into a very small Brooklyn apartment. Um, what you're looking at is my sort of first step in that direction. Uh, these are the players I collected when I was growing up. Uh, and what I did was I got a 5,000 box and uh, started to organize them. Um, the only sort of item of interest uh, other than perhaps my lack of progress is uh, how I did the dividers. Um, I don't know if this is uh, something that people do, but I feel totally comfortable taking a double or a card in poor condition uh, and sort of using it, uh, recycling it uh, into a divider. I just take one of these, uh, a glue stick and a scissor, chop it up like so, and it becomes uh, a, a nice way to separate cards. I assume, I haven't done it yet, but I assume you can do it for the same, the same thing for the, uh, for the teams as you can with the players. I mean, that almost just looks like a Roger Clemens card. The only difference is the bottom is on the top and the top is on the bottom. Uh, and then some of them like this bonds I kind of screwed around with. Um, and so it seemed nicer than simply writing the player's name in my sloppy penmanship on a white card. Um, but uh, I thought I would uh, show it off to get your reactions to some of you. I assume this is utter anathema. Uh, I have no problem just as uh, you might not have a problem putting a baseball card in bicycle spokes. Uh, there is no uh, exultation of the baseball card. Uh, they are here for enjoyment and use. And uh, although most of my cards are in good condition, the ones that I found that were not, uh, I'm happy to repurpose them. So that's, uh, that's where I'm at. And uh, thanks, let me know what you think.